check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Hey guys, Electron Man. Well, we got us a new toy today. That we're I got the check. one over here on my MFJ tuner, um, cross needle, which is not bad, but it's kind of hard to read. And uh, and uh, I just want something with better uh, better visibility and that. And I've got this uh, Sonicon or whatever they call it uh, for my two meter and 440. Well, the cool thing about this meter right here is is that it will do both. It does the uh, one through 60 megahertz and a 125 through 525. So I can. Uh, can double up i'll have a i can get rid of this meter which i'll put this one right where that one's at and then i'll have that meter as well as this nice big uh digital one here hopefully she performs well i'm gonna go ahead and do a box opening with you guys on it and we'll do a in-depth look at it and then uh, i'll get it mounted up and we'll we'll see how she performs okay guys let's do a box opening on this guy um brand new about got it off of amazon it's about the best price i found they fluctuate between 150 and 220 or 30 um there's like four or five different brands of them but they're all dg 503s i think it's a, it's a knockoff of the mfj or mfj is a knockoff of this who knows this is called a nissi i guess you'd pronounce it that way n-i-s-s-e-i nasi nissi anyway let's go ahead and get her opened up here this was uh the cheapest one i found on amazon is right at a, i think it's 144 tax and everything about 155 bucks um not cheap but uh for a good meter, you're, you're going to spend a little bit of money and uh, go ahead and get her opened up here. So far, it's got nice, uh, nice feel to it. Feels nice and solid. Got the uh, power cable here. You're going to have to run 12 volts to it, which is fine. My my whole ham station here is based on 12 volts, so that's not a problem. That's pretty easy to tap off of. And uh, there we are, it's nicely packed. It's got some hardiness to it. It doesn't feel like just an empty box. Uh, let's see if we can get the tape off of here. Get it pulled out of packing. It was packed well. Set that to the side. It's got, a, as I was telling you, it's got both VHF and UFH. Or I mean HF and UFH VHF, actually all of it. So that's going to be nice and handy to have to... Uh, be able to that's kind of interesting the spacers on those are sucked in a little further than they are on these not that I think that matters it's just kind of interesting that I don't know if you can see that or not but maybe for connectors I don't know that's that's kind of weird looks like they they were made that way anyway uh, there's the back of it here's the front of it I haven't pulled this off I'll pull that off once I get it mounted kind of keep it from getting uh, scratched or anything Boy, I'm real tempted. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and do it, guys. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got on the inside of this guy. Brand new, and here I am. I hadn't even powered it up yet, and I'm already taking it and opening it. What, what can you say? That's the that's the electronic guy in me. I can't I can't help it. I got to see what we got inside here. Flip her over. It looks like it's just four screws anyway, so not real complicated to. Get her open, kind of see what the construction, solder, and work, etc., looks like on the inside of this. I mean, for the price, I expect a pretty good quality looking manufacturing process here. Let's see if I get that pulled off of there. What do we got on the inside here? Well, there's our bridge. It's isolated, that's good. Yeah, I like that they're actually uh, shielded, so you shouldn't get any spurious RFI out of them. It looks like the main meat of it is on the on the panel. It's got a single circuit board there. Just trying to see if there's any jumpers or anything. I don't see any jumpers or anything. There's your. They got it marked nice. You got your tuning for a. Uh, if you need to tune it or, or uh, adjust it, right there it's got your high frequency or high reverse, high forward, UHF, VHF, reverse, UFH, forward. So if you need to, you can tune it. If you needed to, you can hook it up to like a bird or whatever and make sure she's accurate. Solder work looks really good on it. Nice and neat.
had some uh, <laughs> hot glue fall out of it. Not sure where that came from. See what were they hot gluing? I really don't see the need for anything to be hot glued in here. Interesting. I wonder what that was. I bet you that was there to make sure those plugs don't uncome plugged. Something I can see. Nice hardy switch there. Six pole switch. Anyway, there's the. I'll get you a good view of the inside of it. I really like that that it's shielded. The bridges are shielded, which is a good thing. Anyway, let me go ahead and I'll go ahead and stop this video and I'm going to put the cover back on it and then we're going to uh, get it mounted up on my bench and we'll take a look at it and see how accurate it is and how nice the display looks. Well guys, check her out. She's all wired up now and ready to rock and roll. Um, definitely liking it. Um, the only thing I've negative got is, is it was totally out of calibration when I got it. I mean totally. Um, I had to put it on my workbench, and uh, fortunately, I had the tools to go ahead and calibrate it. But uh, yeah, other than that, I don't know. I think I might send it back, and get another one, just uh, to see if I just got a one-off, or if that's a you know particular thing with this thing. I mean, that's not cool if that's the way they're all going to be. But uh, I mean, it, 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 obviously, it's not broke. It just was out of calibration. But uh, anyway, check it out. Uh, here's on the on the big one. Um, actually, wait, wait a second. Let's go over here. What? Do this right. I got it on a dummy load there. I didn't have my antenna tuned, but uh, anyway, uh, as you can see, the MFJ is saying 50 watts, and actually, this is saying 52. I actually think it's a little more accurate than the cross needle MFJ, but uh, either way, it's sweet. I love how fast it is, how big it is. I mean, I can comfortably look up there and just glance at it, and I can tell what my output is. Uh, same as on the VHF, you can just Kick her over this way like this. Take her, go ahead and kick her up. And that's right where I'm at on it, too. This is WA5L. Oops. I should have had that on the dummy load, but uh, anyway, yeah, it's a 50 watt transmitter, but uh, she's actually doing about, about 56 watts, which is awesome. And uh, that's my uh, Ringo Ranger uh, 2 meter 440 antenna, which as you can tell, she's tuned sweet. But I love the idea of being able to do my HF and VHF with it. Like I said, the only uh, negative I got is on the HF side, and everything else was accurate. The, the SWR and reflected seemed to be fine, but boy, the uh, the forward power was just out of there. It was not even accurate, but it is now. Look how quick that is. It's just kick it right over there. I love that. But uh, anyway, I'm going to give it a four star due to the fact I had to calibrate it. Um, I seriously considered, since I purchased through Amazon, to go ahead and send it back. And get me another one and just see if I just happen to get a one-off. Because I hate that I had to go in there and calibrate it. And uh, anyway, I, more really more from sanity check than anything. Just to see if I just happened to get one that was out of calibration. Or if they're all sending them out that way. Which I wouldn't recommend it if that's the case. Because most guys don't have the, the bench and stuff to, to take care of it and recalibrate it. Although I did find a service manual on it. It's pretty easy. There's a couple test points. And you know, just use it. I got a good BK. Uh, it's about as precise as a, as a bird meter. And uh. I used it. I don't have a bird meter. I'd have used it. But uh, anyway, I'm rambling on, guys. Hope you enjoyed this little review on the uh, digital SWR uh, watt meter, the DG503. Um, I've seen several reviews, and I'm pretty impressed with it. I like the fast response. The, the construction looks nice. Like I said, the only negative I got about it was is that it was the particular one I got was not. Maybe they were it was on a you know it was on a Monday or something. Who knows? But uh, whoever calibrated did not calibrate the uh, the uh, the HF output power correctly it was it was like 30 percent high so anyway guys have a great day if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up